transitioning back to our childhood, Ses Sesame Street. Why do you think Sesame Street failed in all focus groups at the time? I, I was not Did aware. You know, it actually, no, I didn't know that. It, it failed in all focus groups, and they still went forward with it. Wow. And basically, if the television executives went forward, if they listened to the focus groups, we would have never had Sesame Street. And more importantly, we wouldn't have Avenue Q. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to answer this as a mom. Exactly. Um, I want to know. Because I think the focus groups were not taking place in a household where someone needed to do dishes <laughs> and uh, iron clothes and do the laundry and um, kids were feeling comfortable and free and having that sort of safety to um, open up to this friend who was talking to them on the television. It's just my gut, but that Sesame Street, the power of Sesame Street in a lot of ways is, is home specific. Mm -hmm. It serves a lot of functions and I know in my childhood it served a lot of, um, you know, poor mom was doing it all. Uh, dad was at work. Mom had a lot of kids. And it was an hour where the kids went, oh, and she could make a phone call, maybe take a shower, um, and, uh, and cry. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what, that's what threw the focus groups a little, all the crying. But I remember actually we saw we went to see went to the this place called the Museum of Television and Radio, mm -hmm. which is right around here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, now we all have one in our pocket. Uh, it's called YouTube. Um, but we went there to see the very first Sesame Street. Uh, we watched it in one of those little carols with, on the screen, and um, it was weird. The first Sesame Street was really different than it ended up being. It, I think it evolved over its twenty five, forty some whatever, however many seasons. Um, but the first one had what I remember about it was that Oscar was orange, and Big Bird was had a really different voice and looked really dumb, and um, and that they had a uh, there was this thing about repetition. They thought kids like repetition, so they kept putting the same thing on in one show. They kept showing the same video, like they kept so it was like a video with cows and milking a cow, and they just kept showing it, <laughs> kept coming back to it. Um, also say they they collected a group of talented people so they collected some sure. great songwriters they collected some great puppeteers who brought so much to it um that i mean there are some amazing songs that that were born i can't for some reason think my blood sugar is low i can't yeah. think of one right this second <laughs> oh you mean the songwriters um yeah oh joe, joe, Raposo, joe Raposo, jeff yeah, moss the joe Raposo. Joe, jeff moss yeah. Jeff Moss and Joe Raposo, they had like, it was almost like the Beatles and Brian Wilson between mm -hmm. the two of them. They just made each other better. Mm. 